Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick review on this Indian Archery Model 25 Fiberglass Recurve. This is a 45 pound draw bow and this one was made in 1970. And the way I come to find out about these fiberglass bows, a co-worker brought one into work and when I looked at it I thought, that thing looks like a kid's bow, it looks like a toy almost. They got really small handles and it just looked like a cheap kid's toy. But after I shot his bow, which was a 40 pound bow, it shot really well, it had great power. I started looking into these things. I did a whole lot of research and I found out these were big back in the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s. And what these archery companies were doing, they were using a process called pultrusion. It's opposite of extrusion. When something is extruded, it's pushed through with a pump. And with pull trusion, it's actually pulled. So they would take the fiberglass strands, they would pull it and stress it, and then put it into a hot mold. And once the bows came out, they would trim them off, they would file the knock ends in and put the handles on. Like I said, this bow is 50 years old and very durable. The survivalists love these bows because you could take it out and you could bury it somewhere in the woods and come back 10 years later, put a string on it, it'd be good to go. You can't do that with a laminated bow. You can't do it with a compound. And for a survivalist type bow, these things are excellent. They made them anywhere from 20 pound draw weight all the way up to like 65 pounds, which is plenty of power to hunt with. This is a 45 pound and it would easily take down a deer, all about shot placement. A lot of different companies made these. This one is made by Indian Archery. Ben Pearson made one called a Super Jet Bow. They made one called a Stratajet. They made a Takedown. Um, Stumbler Archery made them. And St. Croix made them. Uh, a company called Paul Bunyan. Just a lot of manufacturers were making these fiberglass bows because they were very inexpensive to make. And this thing sold back in 1970 for 14 bucks. And they can be found at yard sales, flea markets. You can find them on eBay for like 25 bucks. Pretty cool bow. I got this, put a new string on it. I've been playing around with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a few arrows through it. I shoot Apache style. No sights, this is basic shooting bear bow. And I'm gonna shoot the target here a couple times, see what I can do. I'm still trying to get used to it. It's different than any other bow. Little high. Perfect. Park long shot. Little high, but still in the top part of the lung. Little high, still in the top part of the lung. Like I say, with a little practice, you could really get good with one of these bows. Super light. The thing weighs like a pound and a half. And it's withstood the test of time. This one is 50 years old, made in 1970, and still works great. I'll probably end up giving it to my grandson. But for the time being, I'll play around with it. Pretty neat thing to have. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.